plenty of exterior finishing details remain before the top sides can be painted. First up, we cut and frame the windows and doorways at each end of the cabin. driver's station right here, so you'll be able to see while you drive. Mm -hmm. They probably won't be able to see though. Yeah, that's okay. There'll be, there'll be a seat here to stand at too. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah? Yeah. The interior of each window will be framed with one and a half inch wide strips of half inch thick plywood, rounding the outer edges for durability and aesthetics. Install a hatch for mounting a Max Air ventilation fan on the cabin roof.
The frames overlap the window openings by a half inch on all sides to create a lip that will later receive a sheet of plexiglass. All three of the front windows are 24 inches tall. Two are 16 inches wide, but the middle one is slightly wider at 20 inches. The rear windows are 30 inches tall by 18 inches wide. Next, we spend many weeks fairing the cabin, cockpits, and side decks. All surfaces receive a coat of thickened epoxy, which is then sanded to smooth and flatten any imperfections. We repeat this process three or four times for every surface on the boat. This is critical for a good painted finish later. We also locate and install backing plates for hardware. Grab rails will run along both sides of the cabin roof for added safety when walking the side decks. The side decks also receive large one inch thick backing plates for the large cleats that will be installed later. Protect against water penetration, we drill each fastener hole oversized, fill it with thickened epoxy, then redrill it to the correct size, leaving a protective epoxy bushing around each fastener hole.
the fairing and sanding work goes on and on. It's time to make combings for the fore and aft cockpits. Each combing is made from a half inch thick plywood. Notches make the plywood easier to bend and boiling water helps to form it to the desired radius. We also make end caps for the cabin roof. Unfortunately, the intense heat of the Georgia summer has arrived. Only a few weeks of intensive prep work remain, but with temperatures regularly in the 90s, it looks like we'll have to wait for fall to prime and paint the top sides. For now, we slow our pace and try to avoid working during the hottest parts of the day. After the combings have dried in place with the desired curvature, we scrape thickened epoxy into the notches to bond the curves permanently into shape. Amid the slower pace of summer, we also make a new addition to our family, a 16-week-old Irish wolfhound named Saoirse. Her sweet, gentle temperament is typical of the breed and brings joyful disruption to our lives. Stay, stay, stay. Wolfhounds grow at a startling pace and ours is on track to be around 125 pounds when fully grown, leaving us to wonder, do we need a bigger boat?